and in an exclusive chat with my colleague Anisha Jain, Jain Rajay Sinha, chairman of a Boston consultancy group, says India will emerge as a winner from the China plus one strategy. Now, despite the ongoing global uncertainties, he believes that this could happen. So let's go across and hear in what he had to say. The biggest challenge that has come for companies today is uncertainty. And there has been the switch in raise, rising interest rates at this time. Now, you know, the world is actually going through very different economic situations. If you look at the U.S., mm -hmm. the U.S. is dealing with $5 trillion of stimulus. You know, it's almost two Indias have been thrown in the, the U.S. population in terms of stimulus. Yeah. In Europe, inflation has come through importing inflation mm -hmm. because of energy prices, right? And then in countries like India, initially we also imported inflation because of the uh, uh, energy prices, you know, oil prices going up. And then, but on the other side, it was moderated by a strange COVID policy in China. So if you look at the world, there is 22 trillion of GDP in US. Mm -hmm. There is about six, $17 trillion of GDP in Europe and about $16 trillion of G GDP in China and about $5 trillion in Japan. Okay. This is about 70% of the global GDP. Right. The U.S. is dealing with stimulus. Mm -hmm. So they are raising interest rates in the normal fashion that you should to manage inflation. China has gone through ups and downs because they shut down their economy. Right. And then they, are op then they suddenly opened it. Okay? So now when it settles, you will see that they will start adding the pressure to energy prices. Mm -hmm. Europe is faced with a very different problem. Right. And yet it is managing somehow. Everyone's been anticipating a European recession. It hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And everyone thought that the Russian economy would collapse. It hasn't happened yet. In fact, UK is doing worse than Russia. Sure. So with so much uncertainty, how do you predict? You know, it's really difficult. And so, but within this, you will have to say, where would you rather be? Right. India finds itself in the sweet spot where the U.S. anxiety with dependence on China and the rest of the world's anxiety with uh, dependence on China mm -hmm. is making all companies look at a China dependency index. How dependent am I on China for feedstock? How dependent <coughs> am I on China for my exports? Mm -hmm. How dependent am I on China for critical uh, raw material, for critical technologies? So, you know, people are trying to evaluate, am I at risk? Mm -hmm. You know, so when people talk about deglobalization today, wrong question. People need to talk about how do you de-risk, uh -huh. not really deglobalize. Globalize. Globalization is a fact. It's not a policy. Right. It's a fact. Yeah. You can't unwind it. It's yeah. not like the Cold War. Yeah. So you have real uh, integration. And in this integration, everyone is looking very carefully to see how do I manage my risk? Mm. How do I manage my risk across the world on different countries? And China right now has not helped itself. Yeah. So that puts us in a sweet spot. Having put, being put into a sweet spot doesn't solve any problem. You have to take advantage exactly. of the spot you are in. And I also want to, um, you know, uh, talk about one very interesting comment that you made uh, to my colleague Ajay in your last conversation with E.T. Now, when you said that India is no longer playing like Kapil Dev, it's playing like Virat Kohli. Explain so you have to picked that. This, you have picked this on a day today when India got all out for 109. That's a little unfair. <laughs> but still, just remember that uh, Virat Kohli has more than 25,000 runs wow, in really? half the amount of time that any other cricketer took to get to that level. And it is, you know, what you would say in cricket, batting on the front foot, yeah. not having to bat on the back, back foot. foot. And that's the big difference in mindset that India is showing now. People are not af afraid to take on the best in the world. We believe we have earned the right to bat on the high table. But what could be the Yorker in this case? Hey, Yorker could be 109 all out. I mean, just think about that. That's a Yorker, or, you know, you yeah. can... Or, and actually, it's a good analogy. If you look at yeah. the indoor pitch, uh -huh. 
it is not well prepared. It's like uncertainty. You know, when you have oil price, somebody attacking somebody, China could attack Taiwan. We'd have uh, a yorker, right? we'd have a big yorker. You know? We already had a big yorker last year <laughs> yeah. and the year before that in terms of COVID and the war. Exactly. So, yeah, you don't know what could be the next yorker. Exactly. So, we need TSMC to start building some things out here too.